Okay, uh, good morning and welcome to today's Finance Committee meeting. My name is Councilmember Daniel Drum and I'm Chair of the Committee. Uh, we are uh, joined this morning by Councilmember Francisco Moya, Councilmember Adrian Adams, Councilmember Jimmy Van Bramer, Councilmember uh, Andy Cohen, Councilmember Steve Matteo, Councilmember Barry Gudenchik, and others will be here shortly. Today the committee will be voting on five items, one transparency resolution and four Article 11 property tax exemptions. First, we have the transparency resolution, which sets forth the new designation and changes in the designation of certain organizations receiving local aging and youth discretionary funding and funding pursuant to certain initiatives in the budget. Organizations appearing in the resolution that have not yet completed the pre-qualification process conducted by the Mayor's Office of Contract Services, the Council, or, other, or another entity are identified in the attached charts with an asterisk. As with all transparency resolutions, council members will have to sign a disclosure form indicating whether or not a conflict exists with any of the groups on the attached list. If any council member has a potential conflict of interest with any of the organizations listed, he or she has the opportunity to disclose the conflict at the time of their vote. As a reminder, please disclose any conflicts you have with proposed subcontractors used by organizations sponsored by discretionary funding. These disclosures must be made before the subcontractor can be approved. Benjamin Smith from the General Counsel's Office is here and can assist you with any questions or concerns regarding the disclosures. Next, we have the land use items that would approve Article 11 property tax exemptions to preserve or construct affordable housing. The first is 241 West 111th Street in Council Member Perkins District in Manhattan, which would provide a full 40-year exemption to preserve 19 units of co-op housing. The second is 505 West 43rd Street in the Speakers District in Manhattan, which would provide a full 40-year exemption to construct nine units of co-op housing. The third is 316 East 91st Street in Councilmember Kalos District in Manhattan, which would provide a partial 40-year Article 11 property tax exemption to construct 18 units of rental housing. The fourth is 1010 to 1014 Hull Avenue in Councilmember Salamanca's district in the Bronx, which would provide a partial 35-year exemption to preserve 31 units of affordable housing. All of the council members in the relevant district are supportive of these actions. Before I ask Billy Martin, the committee clerk, to call the roll, I'd like to remind my finance colleagues that the fiscal 2020 preliminary budget hearings will begin next Wednesday, March 6th, at 10 a.m. in the chambers. The Finance Committee and the Subcommittee on Capital Budget will hear from the Office of Management and Budget, the Controller, and the, Indep the Independent Budget Office, and the public. Preliminary budget hearings will continue through the month of March and will conclude with another Finance Committee meeting on March 27th when the Office of Management and Budget will return. I look forward to seeing everyone next Wednesday morning, and uh, Billy, will you please call the roll. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Finance. All items are coupled. Chair Drum. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Van Bramer. Aye. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Matteo. Aye. A vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Okay, and I'm going to ask the clerk to keep the vote open for another 10 minutes. <laughs> 